All right, so we are coming up on the last week of the year. And so this is the week that people either do or do not create New Year's resolutions. So you might be like, yes, I am all in. I'm going to start fresh next year. This is going to be the year for me. I know exactly what I'm going to do. Or you might be like a lot of people that I've talked to recently who are like, no, thanks. I There's too much pressure to add a New Year's resolution on everything that is already going on right now. And by the way, I already know what it's like to set goals and not achieve them. And I don't really like the way that feels. So no, thank you. So what I would like to do is to give you another option. This year, I would like for you to consider the resolution of failing on purpose. <laughs> to fail in a very specific way. And this is what I mean. So a lot of times we don't try or we don't set up certain goals because of the fear of failure, right? So we avoid setting health or weight loss goals because we know what it is like to do our right thing, to go to the gym, to eat right, and then to get on the scale or to get the health report and be like, are you kidding me? This is not even working. And then we feel disappointed and overwhelmed. Or we know what it's like to ask for a raise or for a certain position and then not get it and to feel rejected. And so the fear of failure is really the fear of feeling something, feeling something that doesn't feel good in our bodies, feeling disappointed, overwhelmed, rejected. So think about it. If you set a goal, let's say you want to work less or and spend more time with your family or to lose weight or to um, you know, put a little vavoom into your relationship, what you would do is you would say, okay, this is what I'm going for. And then you set up action steps to basically make it happen. So you're like, okay, I'm going to set up date nights. I'm going to join the gym. I'm going to let the colleagues know, seriously, no email after 7 p.m. And I mean it this time. So you set up these action items. Now, here's the thing. You can only fail at your goal in one of two ways. You either follow through on your plan and then you still don't get the result you want. We call that failure, right? Your spouse, let's say, isn't responding the way that you thought that they would or the weight's not dropping fast enough or during the family time, your kids are all looking at the phone, right? So it doesn't seem like it's working. So we could call that a failure. Or you don't follow through on your action plan and then you don't get the result you want. So those are the two ways that you can fail. Now, here's what I want you to watch for when you fail and how I want you to fail on purpose. First, watch what you make either one of those failures mean. Listen to what you are saying in your own head. It might sound like you're never going to lose the weight. You've been this weight for over 20 years. Who are you kidding? This is ridiculous. Just don't even worry about it anymore. Or you're not cut out to be that healthy person. Or this relationship is just going to be the way that it is. It's been like this for a long time. They're never going to change. The kids don't care anyway. And just notice how you feel when you are thinking those thoughts. Notice what you make that failure mean and how it makes you feel. Because those thoughts, your story about the way that it turned out, that creates your emotions. And then those are the emotions of lethargy or overwhelm or disgust or impatience. And those are the feelings that we fear, right? Nobody wants to feel that. But here's the thing. You can make those outcomes, those results, those failures mean whatever you want. You get to make up whatever you want about them. You're doing it anyway. We're thinking thoughts about it anyway, and you can think whatever you want. So the second way to fail on purpose is to decide on purpose ahead of time that you are going to make those failures mean something different. You're going to watch those thoughts and you're going to make whatever those results, whatever those failures are, mean that you are learning and growing and gathering information and learning what you should and should not do in order to get your result. You're getting to know your family better. You are now more present with them. You are paying attention and you're gathering some really awesome information. So that's the second thing. And then the third is to decide, to decide right now what it is that you want, really what it is that you want. Like let yourself dream and feel excited about the possibilities. Don't stifle that. Decide what you want and then decide on the specific actions that you are going to take to get there and decide that you're likely going to fail <laughs> on those actions. And here's the glue. Decide that when you fail, that you are not going to beat yourself up. You are not going to create those fear-based emotions. 
But what you're going to do instead is you're going to resolve to fail and to fail on purpose. There's a famous quote, if you want to increase your success rate, double your failure rate. So I would like to encourage you to fail on purpose, to resolve to fail. Let's do that together. Let's resolve to fail together and see what that does to your success rate. Let's go forth and create some pretty awesome failures.